But first, an unexpected twist to the exclusive story we brought you last night that Qantas staff would be cancelled after a number of cabin crew wore Palestinian flag badges on board a recent flight from Melbourne. The airline confirmed the badges were in clear breach of its uniform policy and it's understood the crew involved in the stunt would be spoken to to remind them of this. For one Jewish community group, though, that was not enough. Australian Jewish Association CEO Robert Gregory called for the staff involved in the incident to be sacked. He said all passengers should feel safe while flying and if employees are found to be using their roles for political activism while passengers are essentially captive in the air, they should be dismissed. Tonight, I can reveal a woman claiming to be the Qantas stewardess in this photograph is threatening to fight against the person who reported her to the media. Emma Ailes says she is the flight attendant who works for Qantas that is in that photo and is a strong advocate for free Palestine. She also claimed as of this morning, almost 12 hours after our broadcast, she was yet to have a conversation with her employer. Ms. Ailes reached out to a group called the Voice of Palestinian Christians in Australia for help. And that group dutifully shared her message to its public Facebook page. It wrote, should this lady lose her job for wearing Palestine flag? Certainly not. Show your support and let, let racists, Sky News, know where you stand. Show your support and send message to the airline. It's understood Qantas is looking into this latest matter and that the airline did speak to Ms. Ale both before after our broadcast yesterday and again this morning. The airline also provided broad reminders to staff about its uniform policy. The I didn't feel particularly safe, you know, um, especially when they're doing political activism instead of their jobs. They should be focusing on their jobs, which was poor service to say the least, and not focusing on political activism. That was the passenger who we spoke to last night, who said that he felt intimidated by the wearing of these Palestinian flag pins. This latest message from the stewardess involved, though, is particularly disturbing. Harrison Grafenakis, the man you just saw there, was on that flight, and he said he didn't feel safe. The company admitted that what staff did was unacceptable and said, Every customer should feel safe and respected when flying on a Qantas aircraft. Yet, for Harrison's crime of speaking up about this, he has received personal threats and abuse and found himself at the centre of a targeted campaign to discredit him and us for reporting the story. He's received a number of abusive messages on social media, including this threat. If you were intimidated by a effing flag pin, wait till I find out where you live. There have also been false claims online attempting to paint him as some kind of apparatchik for the Liberal Party, when the reality is he worked for a federal MP in a very junior staffing role for all of four months two years ago. He's not on the party's payroll. He is not a branch president for the party, as I've seen claimed online. And even if he was, it would not change the story. It's not as if Harrison pinned the badges on staff himself. There's now a petition on change.org demanding Qantas dismiss cabin crew for displaying Palestinian badges, started by a member of the Jewish community who says he is deeply disturbed by the recent actions of certain Qantas cabin crew members and Qantas should uphold its responsibility to provide an unbiased and comfortable environment for all its passengers. The petition has already garnered more than 1,500 signatures. To his credit, for someone so young, that passenger says he will not be bullied by trolls so desperate to shut down this story that they're clutching at straws. And we promise we won't be silenced either. We will keep bringing you these stories you won't see anywhere else.